Oh boy. Okay, let's do this. Have courage. Probably he won't. I, I'm hoping that he won't fire, especially he's being like a daddy to us, being like a father figure to us. And uh, let's go. Oh boy. Hi. Sorry to have to call you in like this, Ito. I know we promised you some time off after the two whole rotten situation. I'd meant to talk to you earlier, but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. It's been a middle media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters were waiting for any excuse they could to go for our throats, and they found it. Heh, if he was here to see it, Tanaka would be furious at all the bureaucracy. Can't even count the number of times he yelled at me after similar speeches I made to him. He was a good man. Oh, since he was making all the small talk. I think he's not gonna fire us. I hope. Maybe. Oh boy. Yes, sir. He was. Let's go to the chase. Oh boy. Oh boy. With every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor's demanding a formal inquiry on your conduct. Now, before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done it done better in your shoes the whole thing was rotten if you ask me unfortunately there are no do-overs in police work and even choices that seemed right at the time can turn around and bite us later on oh that's so that's why it's so difficult to work at the police station and uh, i kind of pity the ones trying to you know have integrity and do their job right and they're getting framed up or whatever uh, with by people who wants to to take advantage and be promoted instead of instead of the you know the right people with integrity. Anyway, it's not only you. I made a mistake that night sending you in alone. I'll pay for that too. Keep an eye on your professionalism using the spin system from time to time. Don't give those vultures anything to pick at. Oh boy. All right. Thank you, sir, for the heads up. It's not just about the inquiry though. I'm concerned about you and the choices you make professional or otherwise have far-reaching effects in the future oh boy the people who will work with you and trust you the options you have available to you are all hinged on your ability to keep a professional face one more thing given the circumstances we think it best to transfer you out of the violent crime department for the time being well yes we need to take a rest and uh do something else thank goodness he's not firing us transfer but sir i don't understand you gotta calm down, girl. And uh, you said you don't wanna. You need. You need to take a rest and, and all of that. So, I've already done twice the amount of work as some of the veterans, and I've only been in the unit for a few years. Surely my record should speak for itself. I mean, let's at least talk about it first. This is. This isn't a negotiation, detective. Think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. For the next month, you continue to be on leave, fully paid, of course. Oh, that's lovely. You lucky girl, you. Of course, I'll need to take your badge until you return. Oh no, that's bad. How are we gonna investigate the sewer again if we don't have our badge and our gun as protection, right? Anyway, at least, but probably we can, probably it's a blessing in disguise because we'll be able to sneak our way in without, oh, I don't know, but since we're popular in the media now, everyone knows that we are a detective and uh, uh, that's a blow. If we don't have a badge. Anyway, the gun you can turn in downstairs. When you come back, you'll be helping out with some of the vice and insurance fraud cases. That really sucks. Man, that's ouch, man. I know you're being protective and all, daddy -o, but this is... I don't know. As another detective will be moving into your place, oh, that blows. We'll need to clear out your office. I've asked the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make myself clear, Ito? It's pretty depressing, man. Crystal, you old hack. But there's more to this. Let's do this. Oh my god, my arm neurosis. Sir, I know you think I screwed this up, but there's more going on. I need a bit more time to make a case, is all? That's enough, detective. Until the internal hearing about your case is complete, there'll be no further discussion of this. We need to sleep again to reduce our neurosis, apparently. Now, please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. The rest stays with us. And Ito... Take care of yourself. Oh boy. Neurosis plus five. Ito, there's no more to talk about on the matter. Please return to your office, then go home and rest. Alright. But sir, hear me out. When the chief gives me an order, I do it, no matter how much I dislike it, because 
is my superior officer and you should be doing the same. Oh, this conversation is over. All right. What do we do next? Let's go to our office. Fart floor. Here we go. Let me talk to this. Sir? Hello, sir? No? Okay, never mind. Hey. Hey, you do. Hold up. Uh, it's Detective Tyra. The detective that we hate so much. And be replacing our position. I heard you were back in the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one of great detectives. Shut up. You're right. He was the best. Almost hard to believe he let himself get caught the way he did. I mean, it's weird, right? Shut up. Right? Anyway, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ito. It was dumb to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it. There's no way you could have handled that on your own. You would have done better. You're right, Tara. You, Kimura should have sent you, the man who hasn't solved a single one of the murders on his desk this year. Would have turned out much better. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to be sympathetic to us. And we shouldn't be acting so defensive. Anyway, hey, those were just unlucky cases, so I'll no witnesses. If Yukimura had sent me, I would have kept my cool. I can tell you that. Alright. Sometimes I close my eyes and count to ten, hoping that when I open them, Tyra will disappear. Unfortunately, the tactic hasn't worked yet. And who's this guy? Hello. I once partnered with Detective Nita and was surprised by how competent he was. If he did attach himself at the hip to Tyra, he could probably make a good detective. Oh, what's this? An alarm to f for fires, earthquakes, and other emergencies. All right. Um, they told me that as the only female detective, it would be best to give me extra space, which translated to sticking me at the end of the hall. All right. Well, I like that. I love my privacy. Thank you very much. So this is our new office, I suppose. What a morning, I'm exhausted. First, the bosses dump me out of violent crime and then send builders ahead of me so everyone in the station knows about my demotion before me. Well, at least they didn't do that while I was here because that would be really embarrassing if they do that in front of my face. What a mess. If I wasn't going through enough already, at least with my public shaming, I doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. Well, I suppose Japanese people or Asian people in general really are really concerned about pride and public image isn't it but I guess if this is uh, this happened in in some Western country they'll they'll be they'll be more thankful about it it's like having a vacation away from you know the violent crimes and chilling out a bit especially she needs it after her partner's death gives me a chance to regroup and plan my next move. yep that's right ah! oh my god Jesus Christ stop stop oh, there's a kitty cat Oh my god, stop doing that, okay? Stop, stop, stop. Kazuki gave me this silver hairpin for my birthday last year. Seems so long ago. Can you please? Okay, let's do this again. Stop the, j the jump scares. I, I don't appreciate it, game. A new email is in my inbox from Yukimura. It looks like it's gone out to all the detectives. I'm here, like, you know, trying to relax in my new office. Trying to uh, clear my head and uh, all these jump scares or whatever. Let's see. Detective Ito has been under a lot of pressure. The tragic loss of Tanaka has affected us all. I think I see where this is leading. There it is. Ito will be temporarily reassigned, so he did make it public. How humiliating. Shut up, Ito. You should be grateful that this is just, just a temporary thing, you know. And at least Dario didn't fire us. It's really nice. Uh, real nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he hit send. Hm. After all this time, why does he believe me? You gotta take care of yourself, girl, before you handle the case again. Or before... I don't know, maybe let Tyra solve the case and just... Uh, stop, stop, stop. Oh god, I don't like this. I've been in this office for years now, quietly working my way to the boys' club to be respected as a detective. That's pretty hard. I know what that feels. That's just... Don't act like a tomboy and just be a girl and let those guys be. Anyway, look at it now. All that hard work shoved into some boxes to be handed off to whoever brown knows their way into a promotion, no doubt. But our daddy -o knows our, 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 all our efforts, so I don't think... I don't know. He... I think he's fair and gives everyone a chance. 
us a chance to relax and Tyra a chance to prove himself. So don't feel so bad about it. Can't help but feel like my hard work wasn't worth anything all these years if it can be so easily packed away and forgotten. Nah, it's not working. Not working anymore. Your jump scares. It's getting more frequent and it's losing its efficacy. Anyway, Yukimura doesn't believe me. I'm the laughing stock of the station and now I'm being moved out of the office to top it off. Calm down, girl. Don't just whatever. Doesn't get much worse than this, but it's Yukimura that stinks the most. Oh, uh, I thought I could trust him, but instead he tells me to turn in my gun like I'm some I'm some sort of criminal. No. Sitting around here is it going to change anything? If they won't investigate, I will. I know, right? Especially if it's about your partner. I mean, your partner died if because of that case, so you you won't really find peace unless you solve it. So yeah, first things first, I need to get my hands back on that mask. Raina mentioned it over and over, and it's the only clue I have to go on. I think you should keep the mask because if I hold the mask again, I might get possessed. But maybe I don't know. Maybe who knows? Maybe it's a good protection for us. Having that mask in our control would let us would help us defend ourselves especially we don't have a gun anymore we 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 were asked to to uh give up uh, as we after we get transferred in another department the packaging department i guess shut up shut up shut up okay okay forensics gave the mask a once over and stuffed it down in the basement i should go down and scope it out Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hello. Hi. You must be the new transfer from Osaka. I'm Detective Ito. That's right. Transferred me in the last week. How are you doing, Detective? Please call me Bando. You all have a good... You, you all have got a big station here. Embarrassed to say I can't never could find my way around the Tokyo branch all that well. I get myself lost half the time, to tell you the truth. Well, who wouldn't get lost in Tokyo, anyway? It's a wild city, so you must be the one that that's all over the news. Don't worry, never could trust the press. None of them know a damn thing about police work. If you're asking me, and it sounded like you got a rough one. Sorry about your partner. Oh, that really sucks, especially when the media is involved. I forgot, almost forgot about that. And everyone in Tokyo knows about me and how incompetent of a detective I am, anyway. Thanks, rough is an understatement. That's right. Uh, I want to interview you about your affair with Saki. Anyway, let's go to the basement, shall we? Oh, I don't, I don't like this. But here we go. Oh, this there's a CCTV. A security camera watches the entrance to the locker. Twenty-four-seven. What's this? Okay. Hello. Didn't think you'd stick around down here after that big earthquake this morning, Mori. Ugh, don't remind me. I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. How are you holding up, detective? Taking it one day at a time, I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised to find you're still working evidence. Tanaka put in recommendations for your promotion. Hmm. Yeah, I think the people upstairs have got other things on their minds right now from the sounds of things. Besides, I think they stuck me down here because I was asking too many questions in my last case. May have fist of a few of the wrong people. Oh, that sucks. Ick, it makes me squirm thinking what it'd be like being in an earthquake in this basement. I wish you hadn't reminded me. Oh, and I'm really sorry about Tanaka, Detective Vito. I respected him a lot. He'll truly be missed. Thanks, I miss him too. Ah, oh, that really sucks. Yeah. Okay. The gate to the evidence room is locked. Mori has the key, but in desperate times, I've seen Tanaka pick the lock to get in. Um, I don't know. What do we do? Wait, let me just check the fire alarm button. If I can click it. Activate alarm. Evacuation of the building will start almost immediately after I pull the lever. Unfortunately, it'll be a short window before they realize what's happening, so I'll need to get to the evidence room quickly. Right here goes nothing. Oh, but there's a CCTV, so... Ugh. Hey, you hear the alarm, right? You shouldn't use the elevator. I was just upstairs. I'm sure it's just a false alarm. Aren't you leaving? False alarm or not, rules are rules. 
I need to stay here to make sure the civilian and non-essential staff are evacuated first. Sorry, Ayami. Can't talk now. I need to get back to it. Oh, crap. I didn't fix the CCTV. They're gonna see me. Whatever. Let's go. Can I pick the lock? Damn, my professionalism and investigation is so bad, man. There's the mask. As I held the mask in my hands again, I immediately questioned why I'd gone through such great lengths to get it back. Oh, I just noticed she's wearing cross earrings. A small piece of evidence wasn't worth the risk. It wasn't the answer to my problems. As strange as it sounds, I'd hoped the mask would react in the same way it did when I'd touch it in Kamakura. At least that would have justified what I'd done and proved the sensation I'd felt that day wasn't in my head. Well, I guess whatever spirit that we felt when we first got this mask, it already left left this mask and went to the girl. Went with the girl. Anyway, the mask I held in the evidence locker was nothing more than rough old wood. No voices or visions, only an eerie quiet left in the wake of anticipation. Oh boy... The mask in my hands, I quickly got out of the station and jumped on the first train back to Shinjuku. Back to the alley where the whole mess had started, something told me there was more to find in the sewer. The mask itself could wait until later. As the train made its way there, images and thoughts from that night engulfed me. I started to feel queasy. I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that the only one who could give me any sense of closure was myself. Well, that's right. Mm, this started to be a really depressing place. Oh, can we enter here again? You again? Did you come in here to thank me? Thank you for what? For not telling the press that you were snuggling up to Goto at the bar for information. Nice music, man. I've gotta say, that was good work. Maybe you chose the wrong profession. Oh, think I'd make a good hostess. Well, I don't know about that. Anyway, I, uh, I heard on the news about what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Oh, just really caring. Thanks, I didn't figure you'd care much about what happened to a cop. All things considered. Considering what, my job? It's true, police come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and fill me up. Oh god, thinking I don't care? Oh, that's a tough job you have there, miss. My boss tells me to ignore it since happy cops are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. Oh, uh, if you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, some nobody hostess, do you think they'd give a shit? It's really sad, man. I would care. I wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me that being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government official gave them a badge. Quite right you are. How long have you been doing this job? Not long. Only about two years and four different shops. They all promised the same thing. Better pay and customers that will treat you with respect. You're not gonna get respect especially when you're wearing that and you're working in this place. I'm still waiting on both those things. Business has been in the pits lately and I've gotten some offers that might pay better but... But... But they're at clubs with more of an adult vibe. No, 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 never go there. Just stay here, girl. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. I've heard rumors about what can happen to some of the girls in those places. This one's easy. Don't do it. But, ever hear the phrase, those who don't learn history are doomed to repeat it? I know, right? Uh, no, not really. Well, take it from me. No one's going out of their way to help you, but that doesn't mean you can't help yourself. Oh, right you are, Ito. Just to get over before you say yes to that offer, okay? Don't think you'd be getting advice. I'd be getting advice from a cop. Alright, I'll think about it. Got a name? Yeah, it's Miho. Ah, nice to know. Nice meeting you, Miho. Don't tell anyone, though. The bosses don't like it when customers know our real names. You know, I don't think I'd have the guts to sit on Goto's lap. Men can be idiots, huh? See you around, detective. Nice knowing you, Miho. Oh, hello, detective. I uh, heard about what happened that night after the other police and the reporter showed up. I'm real sorry to hear about your partner. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks, Daiso, right? Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remember that, detective. No need for a detective. I'm out on duty. Ayami is fine. Oh, I see where we're going here. Anyway, how are things? Did that night hurt your business too? 
In all honesty, business wasn't really better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when the reporters were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. What's the point? No, don't give up, dude. Don't give up. Or maybe try something else, I don't know. I know it might not mean much coming from me, but I believe you should stick it out to the end, no matter what. Well, it's his passion, so there's uh, there's no other way but to, you know. But maybe he can transfer to another place and do a restaurant business there instead of this place, okay. A lot of it comes down to attitude, right? If you stay down in the dumps, people will taste that emotion in the food. Oh, you have a point. That's something no amount of alcohol can mask. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I've been beating myself up for weeks now. Maybe that's not helping, huh? Yeah, I gotta move to another place, dude. I mean, I'm still competing with scumbags around here, but I'll try and keep my head above water for now. Thanks, Detective. Er, uh, Ayami, stop, ag stop by again anytime. Drinks on the house. Like, I need a drink right now. I'm pretty stressed out. Anyway, thanks, Daiso. Maybe I'll take you up on that one day. What's the code? Ah, uh, it's really depressing. Please, no jump scares. Hi, dude. Kobayashi. Oh, hey, it's a detective from the other night. I wonder if she remembers me. That detective is right here and can hear you as she's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. Ha! Ah, how'd you know my name? Is it on your name tag? He has no name tag. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyway, I'm just like surprised you need to talk to me again. I don't, just passing through. Oh, right, that's good. I think I already said everything I could to that other guy. Oh, so Tyra has been here already. But I have to track my, rack my brain pretty hard to come up with new material, you know? What other guy? Taido? Tidus? Typhoon? Tyra? Detective Tyra was here. What did you tell him? Oh, right, Tyra. Yeah, I told him you were here and you were pretty hardcore. You told him I was hardcore? What does that mean exactly? You know, I told him you were a cop that, like, didn't play by the rules. Oh, shit. Oh, oh boy. You told us to our... To our, uh... Go out a drink if they wanted to. Like, you know, take the edge off and stuff. You little... You told him I... Shit, what else did you say? Ah, uh, not much else to tell. I told him I heard a firecracker outside before you came in and about the broken lock. And how he said you'd seen a strange girl. Damn, that dog outside again. I mean, nothing bad. Uh, wow, your eyes got all intense there for a second. That's nothing. Just dust in my eyes. Painful, stupid, idiotic dust. <laughs> that is causing me to squint. Harshly. Oh yeah, detective, you should be careful. It's super dusty in here. Yeah, right, dude. Thank you, I'm going to leave now. You enjoy your day, you scumbag. Oh, kitty cat! Meow! Please not... No, don't, don't, no jump scares. Okay, I'm leaving. Can I go back? Can I go here? This place, this police tape is all that's left of the department's investigation. They're more focused on writing me off as insane than finding answers in that sewer. We gotta find answers and find closure about our partner's death. It's now or never. No more excuses. I need to have a look around and find out what really happened that night. Freaking scary. We should have someone with us instead of doing this alone. Oh boy. Fancy, fancy lights. Now I appreciate these lights more than ever. The air still feels as heavy and stale as it did light the night I came in here looking for Kazuki. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around and see what I can find. I've already come this far anyway. That's what you call denial, girl. But we have to accept the truth and undergo all the seven stages of grief. I could have at least used a different rope to get down there. Touching it once was enough for one lifetime. Thanks. Oh well, I've got no choice. <laughs> I hope we don't die there. I hope we don't break this rope or else we won't be able to come out. Come back out again. Alive. Oh boy. Leash no jump scares. Anymore. Oh well. At least you have this now. Okay, let's go. Maybe it was a mistake to come here. No, girl, all that's left for me here are horrible memories. But I saw Reina, a girl who couldn't possibly be alive in this tunnel. I'm sure of it. I'm sure there's a back door and she's not a ghost and she's a real girl anyway. You came around the others didn't see what I saw. I have to keep going. There's more to this. 
Hey, look, red paint. More paint? The reports on that night never mentioned this. Could they have missed something so obvious? Ooh. And there's another passage here. That's what I thought. There's another hatch going further into the sewer. It's possible Reina escaped through it on that night. I knew it. Maybe I wasn't so far off the mark after all. Alright, let's climb down. If Reina used this hatch, I might be able to find some proof to take to Yukimura and put his doubts to rest once and for all. But I hope you brought a camera so you know you can take pictures and stuff. I'd better keep my guard up. But you have no gun. Oh, how did you get a gun though? I remember you used the gun too. <sighs> Shit, girl. Oh boy. Why did she use the gun again? Um, I thought we we surrendered the gun already. So we still have the gun. That's cool. Press button. I don't know what I'm doing. But let's turn on the lights, I guess. Hey! Wait. Maybe I should press the lights. I don't know. Wait, wait. Wait. No, never mind. I don't know, girl. Crap. Oh, is this some sort of trick? It looks the same as I were. I, I swear I came in. Does it have something to do with the lights? I know it's something with the lights. Oh no, I'm losing my investigation points. But at least it's just one, not negative then. Oh, there's a handprint. Oh boy, this is bad. Maybe... Crap. I don't know. I don't know, girl. Maybe I should avoid that? I don't know. Or maybe... What the hell? That's not possible. Come down, the lights are flashing in some sort of order. There might be something to it. Maybe... Oh, crap. I don't know. Negative five? Seriously? What if I avoid the turning on the lights? Or what if... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, I already turned it on. Whatever. Okay. I'll try avoiding turning on the lights with these handprints on and let's see if that doesn't work then I'll turn on the lights with these handprints on okay press button maybe do I have to click this thrice okay whatever let's go Jesus how Okay, let's try. I don't know. Oh, now we have this. One, two, three, four. Maybe we do that. I think that's it. At least we're not losing our investigation skills. Just turn on the lights without the handprints, yeah? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's turn on the lights with the handprints. So maybe that's the... That's how we solve this. No? How? Something has to change. There's no way this hallway goes on forever. I can't be stuck here. I can't. Oh my god. <gasps> Investigation negative 10. Wait. Well, we still have 8 at least. Whatever. Yay, we made it. Alright. Alright. So we just had to avoid the... What's this? There are two Reyna look-alikes here. Reyna, what is this doing here? Why would you leave this behind? Maybe it's a message or something. Look at this paint right here. And right here, though. Okay, let's open this maybe. The door seems stuck. I'll have to pry it open. Better head back to the surface and see if I can find a crowbar or something. I don't like this. Okay. I don't like this. Sanity negative five. This is not good. Look at her face. That's what's that noise? Shit, the hatch is closed. I'm trapped. This isn't good. 
I know, right? I have to get out of here. But how, girl? How? How? I don't know. How do I go back up? Can I turn on the lights? No. Never mind. Press. Maybe press. It's not real. It's not real. Okay. It's just an episode, like the doctor said. It's not real. Kazuki said it wasn't real. Oh my god, we're starting to talk like, like Reina now. Hey! Hey, Tanaka! Wow. Oh boy. Kazuki, somehow, somehow I knew I'd find you if I came down here. Wait, don't go! Please don't leave me again! No, don't, don't touch that freaking hand. That's a... What the fudge? Is that a bad dream or... Were we kidnapped by Raina now? 